Alrighty, boys and girls. Well, look at that. Bitcoin showing massive strength after we've seen that German selling, wrecking the charts and selling Bitcoin. But nonetheless, Bitcoin did not jump in holding strong, which means we have a lot of strength now showing up on Bitcoin, which also signals we're going to still have a massive bull market and most importantly, a massive altcoin season and a massive meme coin season as Pepe as well is holding strong. One of the strongest meme coins, altcoins, whatever you want to call them these days, holding strong, which means we're going to be looking at these low market cap coins as well as now it's the right time to be looking to be accumulating these coins before the massive rally if you believe we still have a bull market which i do and a major major meme coin season coming ahead this is the time to be accumulating so with no further ado let's get into today's video and as usual don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and remember nothing is financial advice the show is for entertainment and some education and hopefully finding god now guys today bitcoin is showing people what's up bitcoin holding strong and especially after i've shared with you guys this week here that bitcoin took out and that's supposed to hold and then we're gonna see a bounce up from bitcoin which now we're seeing this is a big sign of strength and that's what we should be really looking at right now and this is it right and you can see now that pepe is still holding strong it's not even down that much right like it's down now 47 percent the overall dump on pepe was around 53 percent which to show you how strong this is right like the, this previous Previous pump on Pepe was right after or along with Bitcoin pulling a new all-time high, the 74k and all that. So just to show you here, Pepe dumped around 60%, 62%, and here only 53%. Now we could still see a little push down from Pepe, but now we, as you can see here, Pepe is literally now just waiting for that Bitcoin to move back up. It's literally looking the same here at the bottom here on Pepe and on Bitcoin. It's literally looking the same, which shows Pepe is still gonna run as soon as Bitcoin is gonna rally right and we've seen this also within this range on Bitcoin Pepe was outperforming like you can see here which is very clear like literally very clear here Pepe, uh, Bitcoin pull a high and then a lower high and here Pepe put a high and then a higher high which is strength against Bitcoin also right so this means as soon as we're gonna see a tiny pump from Bitcoin Pepe is gonna go rallying and then we're gonna have a little altcoin season or meme coin season especially meme coin season right and this would send all the other Pepe verse coins with it and meme coins like today we have even bond coin now flipping dog we've had showing also some strength now today if you're looking at the market you see a lot of bearish news and you see like germany is selling and all that stuff but also a lot of people are forgetting something very interesting and very important right which is the eat etf right so now we have blackrock right grayscale 21 shares franklin van eck and fidelity but most importantly blackrock which is the the big boy here right the big boy here is filing for for an eat etf so i've been talking about this over and over and over and i've been saying look forget about your solana meme coins your other chain meme coins first meme coins to rally are gonna be eat meme coins and then we have all the signs here now i know it's hard right for people to believe anything right now right when especially when the market is down red candles somehow really mess with people's mind and let them believe that we're gonna go down and then it, the market does the opposite which is basically the job of the market right now it's just like to get you buy the green and get you sell the red literally so you get wrecked but the opposite it should be done right now just to give you an example right so previously i remember this same exact sentiment we had previously and this is when i picked toshi at around 8 million even before at 2 million if you were in my discord you picked this very cheap and it ran to almost 200 million dollars in its market cap which i do believe still gonna go to around a billion toshi on base right and among my, many others like bonk at 100 million uh, ladies at 20 million this was the time where we were here literally th there was there was real bad sentiment right it was around the etfs and stuff like that like we did not have really a, a strong market people were still very very skeptical around that bitcoin etf and all that stuff which is the same thing we have right now with the eat etf it was exactly the same so we had a bitcoin etf market dumped right and then we seen this massive run and then this one took all the coins here as you see here like flow key uh, went from 300 million pepe from 200 million bong from 100 million ladies toshi all these they went to billions like you see today like ladies went to 200 million and toshi 200 million which is still a big big pump on these low market cap coins back there so we have the same thing playing out today in the market we have now eat etf right and we have market dumping which this which is the same thing here we have bitcoin etf and market dumping now we have eat etf and market dumping are we loading for another leg up on bitcoin like the same one we see here this could be possible literally this could be possible but this could play out on eat right if we look at the eat chart this could literally play out on eat and we see a massive pump on eat while bitcoin just like ran just slowly here and then we have the altcoin 
properties in this world waiting for. Now, what coins I'm looking at today is the coins I'm gonna share with you now, right? So you all know by now, like the top meme coins, if you are holding the top meme coins, then good for you. That's what I have. I'm already exposed to Pepe, Bonk, already I'm, I'm in mean, these guys from the lows, way low, right? Floki from back in 2022, $20 million in this market cap, 10 million, stuff like that. So I'm really allocated to these top meme coins. Now I'm literally trying to find the same thing here, like the Bonks and uh, the Toshis and stuff like that of this run here. These are the coins I think are gonna follow or the coins I'm accumulating right now for this long-term view we have for the market, for the ETF and stuff like that. And also it goes without saying, if you're all already allocated into Toshi, that's it. Like I do think Toshi is still gonna go to 1 billion. If you are into any mid caps like Andy Eat or Miro, even on Solana or Apu or whatever, or these recent coins, we've seen more coin that's showing some strength. It goes without saying, these are still solid coins right now. And what I'm more interested into is the real low cap ones, right? That are showing recently strength, right? So we're gonna start with Hopi, right? Which really shown a lot of strength recently. And I do think Hopi now just created its own narrative right now, which is re still related to the boys club and Pepeverse and all that stuff. But I do think Hopi created its own narrative, which is the Hopi. Because I see now a lot of new coins trying to ride the Hopi trend, which shows that this coin created its own narrative right now. So what I really look for on Hopi now is a dip. I'm not gonna buy Hopi here. It's too pumped. It's already high. It's $66 million in its market cap. I will wait for a dip. This is very important to understand. So usually we see these coins dumping around 70% once they top, right? So so if this is the top on Hopi and it dumps around 70%, which is usually what we see, it's gonna bring it around $20 million in its market cap, which is literally where I would be really interested into Hopi, which is the first coin I'm trying to accumulate now for that massive run. You see already it's really pumped a lot, right? And even though like I started buying a little bit because we've got this picked up on, on my Discord link in the description if you wanna join, it's free to join around here, around 1 million, 2 million, but I did not buy a lot. We did not expect this massive massive run right but now it happened which shows a lot of strength and also it shows this could be the next one billion dollar market cap coin which is a lot right now recently we've seen as well mog coin but this one is already at a high market cap right for me it's not interesting at all to buy something at around 500 million or above right so we've seen mog which and turbo right both both are strong coin if you're holding them that's very good these are strong coins turbo around 200 million would be pre pretty good it's still around it's still ranging here this is pretty much a for those interested it's pretty much it right like the bottom on turbo there is also apple which is at 130 i would be interested also if it dumps 70 percent and it goes down right and it stays alive right which i do think is gonna stay alive if that happens right uh, same with hopi we've seen recently also the chinese paper which i'm not really interested to like if i'm trying to pick a low market cap at around 20 million i would mostly go with hopi because simply i don't know how this narrative is gonna last like the chinese narrative we don't know really how long it's gonna last it's still a decent coin as soon as we're gonna see the real massive euphoria this whole thing is gonna go out of the window and people will stop really asking what is this right they will just see paper and they will buy it like literally and uh, one i really been looking at which is really close to that paper which is spirit low it's a strong meme coin as well it shown some strength here so it went to that 40 million dollars in its market cap and went down to that 7 million now i shared this on my discord i've been looking to buy a bit more around 7 million right i do think this would probably revisit this low here which is something i I'm waiting for if it happens then good days right i'm gonna get into it if it doesn't i'm not gonna buy it around here around 20 million it might still see a dip right it might still see a dip this is also one of these strong coins that created its own narrative right also related to the boys club and that 4chan memeing and all that stuff related also to pepe somehow right because pepe also came out of that 4chan platform memeing and all that stuff this also is one of those eat coins i'm looking at i would really prefer a dip a real real juicy dip on this one not now i would really prefer another day next one is a coin you all know about and it's not other than bread eat right this one is one of the lowest market cap most bullish coins out there i'm already allocated enough on this one but for those still looking at getting into bread eat or dcaing into it this is the right time this one is one of the strongest eat coins related to pepe bread you all know by now bread coin there is a bread on base that already went to two billion or almost and there is a bread on eat right which is a two million right this one also has a decent shot at 
to go into that $1 billion in its market cap, which is a 500x for this coin. It reminds me of Toshi early days when I started picking it up around 2 million, 5 million, and then it started accumulating around that price. And then it ran, which also Toshi was still is going to that 1 billion. I do think this one also is following that path. Now there is one more new addition I'm looking at and accumulating right now is one of the lowest market cap as well is around $1 million in its market cap, which is Dorky or Dork Lord on each a very low market cap coin right now around $1 million in its market cap. This one also is something I see going ahead and staying around in this bull market and waiting for that real massive euphoria to come with PP pumping with the ETFs and all that stuff and that tide that lifts all ships. This one also is positioned for that, right? They already listed on coin market cap. They already working on some exchange listings. They got decent, decent Twitter pages. They got decent art, decent Twitter page. They are going for it, right? For a low market cap coin, something that I really like to look for on low market cap coins, right? And that's a new addition I'm accumulating right now. There are many others, but this one is the main one I'm looking at, which is Dark Lord. Ticker is Dorky, right? I'll leave you the link in the description for those like Brett Eat and Dark Lord, because there are many, many copies out there that are trying to ride the hype, but these are the mains, right? Like you got the Brett Eat and you got this one. These are those that I'm confident with right now. Dark Lord is the underdog of the Pepe verse, the boys club and all that stuff. It's gonna get its time to shine. There were a few tries at it. And that's why I'm interested. There were a few tries, few door clothes trying to get there. And we're still waiting for one to get there. And I do think it's going to be this one. Now, I also do get this question a lot. When can we expect the meme coin season or the altcoin season? That massive up only, right? For the few believers out there that still believe we're going to get an altcoin season, which I do, right? Because the market always wants you to believe. Otherwise, that we're, that we're done, we're top. It's never going to happen, right? For those asking this question, right? This is others, which is all the other altcoins besides the top 10. The thing is, we are still waiting for this and i had these patterns here that to show this was the 2022 pattern and this this was the 2017 altcoin season right so both show that we are going to have some sort of a sideway range right here and we're almost done with it that's why i also think that by the end of july we're going to see a massive pump and then we're going to see the start of this altcoin season the disbelief rally and people missing out and being loud and getting angry for missing out the altcoin season and calling for tops like exactly what they're doing now is just because they are sidelined and they wish they see these things going down they don't want anybody to win because they did not buy anything and they see the markets pumping so these people are going to be loud again but just to tell you right we're expecting this by the end of the Ju of july beginning of august to start to see a another push on others which means this directly affects altcoins right and smaller altcoins as well this directly affects them this starts the altcoin season this starts that fomo which is a tide that lifts all ships go starts from the top to the bottom and spills down we're expecting this around end of july beginning of of august to start to see this run and the first altcoin season could top around october of this year or end of this year right this is where we're gonna see possibly pepe at 50 billion and these coins like that i've talked about going for their real first start of the rally and the real season start right that's what we see usually or that's what we've seen in the previous two bull markets and then we see usually another push up which is expected to last until july of 2025 right we're gonna see another altcoin season here so we've got two main altcoin season up only that we really wait for or we've been waiting for for like uh, four years now and that's it literally that's it if you miss this too that's it you're gonna have to wait another four years that's why i'm being very very careful and watching what coins are performing today because i've I want to be exposed to this up only season when this gonna happen i want to be there right and we know today that pepe is gonna flip shiba inu very likely i'm seeing a lot of people starting to talk about this now so pepe is very likely to flip, flip shiba inu because it's a new coin a new meme coin people like new things and all that stuff it's on ETH, ETH, etf and all that stuff is happening and pepe the first time it's not a dog and all that stuff which also ties to what i'm talking about because it's not a dog and most of the coins are related to dogs like top coins all related like bong dog with fat and floki are related to dogs besides bread which is now the first papyverse coin to make it to the top so this will trigger all the papyverse coins to rally right that's the most important that's the, those are the coins i'm really 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 bullish on and looking at and analyzing daily and trying to find the best picks possible right related to this because i'm waiting for this to happen right that's the main thesis of this cycle the pepe cycle bit bitcoin and the papyverse and if this plays out we're gonna make it big right that's the main thing if i'm right and if we're all right here with the papyverse we're gonna and make it big because all these coins are still at low 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 prices bread e dorky and these coins are 
if we get Hopi at 20 million, if we get the other coins, like even Chinese paper drops at around 20 million, and those are going to give us those real juicy entries. Even Toshi right now, because I see people asking me about Toshi. I still think Toshi is going to 1 billion. Also with that base chain season and all that stuff, which we're going to have later on, right? We're going to have first each, each ETF, each coins rallying. It, it's just the thing that makes more sense right now. So that's what we're waiting for, right? Being exposed to the end of year rally pump. And most likely we're going to see it led by Pepe and its narrative and derivative coins. That's the most important now today. Ne then we're going to be looking at other coins like the base chain coins and Solana coins. And we're going to have even like, I, I do like also Andy on Blast. And we're going to have another Blast season and all that stuff. And we're going to have also the Grok, which is also related to that Elon Musk narrative. This one would most likely play out later on in the cycle, right? If you're holding Grok, I do think I'm still holding Grok as well, but I do think this is going to play out most likely here next year where we're peak FOMO, Euphoria and Elon Musk possibly tweeting something about Grok and that's what's going to start it here. But the first one is going to be Pepeverse related. That's the thing here, guys. I hope today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, link in the description and join my Discord link in the description. It's free to join if you want to get in early on to those things, if you want to follow the market and be more in touch. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.